looks like their parade's going to start in a few minutes, but first let's take a, a couple of seconds and you can tell us a little bit about what's going on at the Logan Parks and Rec Department. Okay, we are uh, just going into our fall programs, uh, our youth programs. We're going to have flag football um, sign-ups. They start, they start August 1st, as well as our two-pitch leagues in adult softball. And they, the sign-ups for them start August 1st. And they go until the leagues are full. Um, we are doing Monday, Wednesday nights with the, with the two-pitch leagues. Um, different... We'll have two. Uh, we'll have co-ed and we'll have men's. There's no women's leagues. We don't offer that, but we do have the co-ed and the men's on that. And then um, everywhere from five-year-old to eighth eighth grade in the flag football for the kids. Okay. So basically, a lot of things for you to do to come and sign up for for the summer and coming into the fall this year at the Logan City Parks and Rec Department. Thanks, Kim. And it looks like we're going to get started in just a minute here. So we'll be right back. the start of uh, the parade. Welcome everybody to the Logan City Pioneer Day Parade and we're starting off today a police escort for the honor guard provided by the Logan uh, Police. We have the Logan Police as well as the Logan Fire Department Honor Guard. Uh, they are carrying the colors of the United States of America and our great state of Utah. Everybody stands up and raises uh, their hand to their heart and honor our great country. Which is of course of what today is all about. The pioneer spirit brought out into the West by those early pioneers. And here come some of these adorable old cars. What have we got here? Pioneering through future, the future through families. Our Grand Marshal for the parade today is uh, Mary Poppins. Uh, she came to teach the family the importance of being a family which takes not only love but precious time. And she was certainly the epitome of that. Here we have Logan City Council members. There's Jeannie Simmons. Yes, we have the Mayor and City Council, Mayor Craig Peterson, City Council members Jeannie Simmons, Carl Ward, and Jean Needham. And they're doing what they should be doing, which is throwing out candy for the <laughs> kids. Yes. Looks like mayor, the mayor's on a Segway, or yeah. what they call it. Oh, is that the mayor? <laughs> yeah. uh, and here's the Cache County Council, Greg Merrill, Corey Yates. Uh, Val Parter. Craig Butters. And Craig Butters. Uh, they've been serving citizens since 1857. Closely followed now, and it's getting a little bit more noisy because I think we have a high school band coming. It's Preston High School, the marching band. Yes, they're continuing a long tradition of community service by participating in parades across the valley. The 25-piece band is under the direction of Wayne Manning, and the color guard advisor is M Merrill Hafen. They are pleased to be part of the Logan Pioneer Day celebration. And bless their hearts, the marching band's always a really good attraction, but they must be just melting in those uniforms. Oh, I, could, I don't know how they do it. <laughs> it's hydration. <laughs> yeah. Next, the Williamsburg Retirement Family. Yeah, we love Williamsburg Family. Go visit their newly remodeled building, taste their famous homemade bread, and go on adventure with them. Yeah, I didn't know they had homemade bread. Maybe we'll go there after. <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't either. It sounds kind of good. Yes. <laughs> 
Next, USU Credit Union again, providing a little bit of uh, nourishment for the crowds. Yes, uh, they got their the kids behind them. There's, they serve Utah State in the Cache Valley for the last 58 years with low rates, loans, mortgages, and other financial services. USU Credit Union, smart, local, and convenient. Very convenient. Everybody you know goes to USU Credit Union, yes. right? One of the first ones I ever joined, actually, years yeah. and years ago when they first started up. Followed closely in line by descendants of John and Anna. How do you pronounce that last name? Is it Tyre or Thurr? I would say Thurr. Pioneers of Providence. Yeah, they, they have gathered for the Ellsworth family reunion and as de descendants of the John and Anna Thur, Swiths, immigrants, and original settlers to Providence City. So uh, this is a great big family reunion right here? Yes. What well, a good time to have it. That's excellent, actually. <laughs> I don't think uh, very many people can say they've been in a parade for their reunion. No, that's probably true. Yeah, big family, happy looking people. Next one coming into view now is Miss Hot Wheels of Utah 2015, Annie Worthen. Yes, um, Ariana Worthen is the 2015 Miss Hot Wheels of Utah, the winner of the teen division of the Miss Wheelchair Utah pageant. And I think that may be a, a new addition to, I don't remember her, that being in the parade last year. I don't either, I, I, I agree with you. I think that's Fantastic, the yeah. She's closely followed by um, a soccer, CVI Sports, I guess. Yeah, it's Cache Valley home for adult soccer. They got the, the Salt Lake Real soccer flag in the back. You won't believe what four bucks gets you at Wendy's. Introducing our new $4 meal deals. Choose from crisp chicken with thick bacon or a quarter pound of fresh beef plus small fries and a drink. Wendy's $4 meal deals. That's a ton of great food, all for a great price. Now this um, float, ride, activity, attraction is called a dream come true party. Yeah, they entertain for parties, birthday parties, corporate events and family gatherings. Find them on Facebook or online, mention that you saw them on the parade and get a 10% off your next booking. Very cool. Going to make a few little girls and possibly little boys' dreams come true. Spider-Man's in the back there, so... Yeah, so little boys too. Yeah, my little nephew would have a have a field day with that. Well, maybe so. you're going to have to pass along the information, yeah. right? Okay, here comes the Cache County Republican Party. Yes, uh, with 30,000 members in the Cache County, County Republican Party, works to elect people to espouse the values of small government, low taxes, and fiscal responsibilities. And they're as well throwing the, the candies out for the kids. So. Yeah, that's a little, that's a good idea. A good Politicians, idea. always a good idea to give food away. Definitely. Uh, big old tires coming along after this, and that's a really neat looking float. Yeah, it is. It's got the spirit of the, the fourth as well as the 24th in it. And they enjoy serving the great people of Cache Valley and thank everybody for their loyalty. Uh, next, and they very nearly ended up on the back of that float there, but next, uh, Utah Logan Mission, President and Sister Allred. Now, if I remember right, this, this is a brand new mission. Um, they, they used to come out of the Ogden area, and I think in the last uh, conference, they, they, this was a new, new founded mission. Logan Mission welcomes President and Sister Allred and the missionaries to Logan. Playing, playing the sides here. Yeah. <laughs> Next, one of my favorite stores in Cache Valley, Herburgers, coming up. Yes, Herburgers is your local department store that offers a broad assortment of national and private brand fashions, apparel, shoes, and accessories for men, women, and kids, and cosmetics and home furnishings. Herburgers would like to thank West Motors in Logan for their use of their vehicle in today's parade. That's a nice truck. That is a nice truck. Now here we have some little souls coming along. 
They look like brownies and girl guides or girl scouts, do they? Yes, they are the girl scouts. Um, they're celebrating uh, the Samoa cookies. It's the 40, 40th year reunion for the uh, Samoas. Well, it, <laughs> let's definitely hope that th throwing some of those out, I'll abandon my post and get us a couple. I was going to say, I'm waiting for them here. But <laughs> um, the Cash Galley Girl Scouts, where girls grow strong as they are taught to be wonderful assets to the communi community. They also have a Relay for Life team this year. Yeah, I love the Girl Scouting program. Uh, my daughter was in that for a few years. Next we have the Salt Lake Express. This is hugely valuable for people and things that need to go to Salt Lake, right? Oh, it's big. There's so many people that use this to just to go to catch the airport or, you know, even to go to Salt Lake for business meetings. Um, they have a daily shuttle that goes to the Salt Lake Airport 10, 10 times a day, 365 days a year. They drop curbside, so you just walk in and check in. Tickets as low as $20, so it's cheaper by, than gas. That is, that is actually a lot cheaper than we used to pay years ago. Um, Smithfield City float coming up. That is a beautiful display and all the lovely young ladies from Smithfield City. Um, yeah, Smithfield, Smithfield City Royalty Scholarship recipients, Rachel Geddes, Haley Adams, Alexa Archibald, Alyssa Hins Hickson and Darcy Olson. And they're followed closely um, by mobile detailing and reconditioning. Yes. Uh, mobile detailing and reconditioning, where every detail matters. They're professionally trained and certified. Vehicle won't start? We can fix that. Not running right? We can fix that. Won't stop? We can fix that. Auto Evolution. Honest service at a fair price on Airport Road. a really important service to the citizens of Logan and Cache Valley since 1992, bringing the communities together in Cache Valley. And that is a really special, I don't know who did the artwork on that, but it looks fantastic, doesn't you know, it? More and more of them are getting these these uh, wraps, I guess is what they call them, but yeah, they're, I mean, it's it kind of makes them stand out and people notice the buses as much. Plus, this is one bus line that they still don't charge um, people to ride. They're, you know, it's yeah. just free for the, you know, the citizens to use. So, really, well, that's just a fantastic deal. Followed closely again by one of just these gorgeous old cars. This is a 1916 Page touring car. Yeah, it's a classic. That's the the Harris's own that, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Um, the purpose of the antique car. This is part of the Cache Valley chapter of antique cars. Um, the purpose of this antique car club is to restore and preserve cars of yesterday for the enjoyment of the club members and the public. Nice. That's a 1930 Model A nice. Ford. And look at this beautiful one behind oh. that. I don't. What does that? I can't tell you what that one is, but it is a thing of immaculate beauty, is it not? That has been very well restored and kept up since the re restoration. I'm trying to see the year of it. 1929 Dodge? Yeah. Is that what it says? It's a Dodge, 1929 Dodge. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, here's beautiful. a... Here's you know, when the they say the trunk of the car, they actually mean it. A trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a beauty you'd buy at Hobby Lobby. It's yes. adorable. Here's a 1927 Model T following that. The, another just gorgeous reconditioned vehicle. Oh, it's beautiful. You can't really... And of course, we saw a lot of these at the uh, wonderful uh, Logan City event of the cruising uh, back around July 3rd and 4th this year. And I think they've they've brought a lot of these beautiful old vehicles out again for this parade and we're very uh, grateful that they did that. There's the Otto de insurance car, that's always a favorite among the crowd. Yes it is. They've, uh, if I remember right, he's got three or four of these old older cars and there's another one, the 1928 Ford Model A that's wow. following the, the really nice. Really beautiful. The amount of time and money that they must spend on these cars is a uh, 
but to preserve them for future generations too. It's a really good hobby to have. Yes, it is. It is. Just yeah. to, just keep them. I, they would be dented up in my garage. I, I don't <laughs> think I'd be able to just even keep I'd have to have them locked away somewhere. <laughs> well, I'm sure they have them locked away in yes. uh, kept in uh, cotton balls somewhere <laughs> or that bubble wrap. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Next in line we have the USU Youth Conservatory. Yeah, the, they are offering piano lessons and group, group music lessons for ages 6 months to 18 years old starting at only $35 a month. You can register for fall semester at usu.edu forward slash YC piano. So um, yeah great place if you have a child or even yourself uh, has a little musical ability going on get in touch with the USU, USU Youth Conservatory and uh, get involved in one of their excellent programs. They start them at six months that just floors me that the you know kids that young can learn music. Next Martin Scablin Roofing uh, Always seen around the valley for the last 25 years, a really good quality roofing company. Yes, they're um, they are part of the Better Business Bureau, so you know that they uh, their their work and their quality of their work is excellent. Now here's you guys, City of Logan Parks and Recreation Department, and that is a fun float. Yes, it is. I got some uh, family or friends. Uh, that are part that are on this float. Uh, they're pioneering our future through families. The Park and Recreation Department offers various opportunities for families to come together, and the Logan Youth Council teaches leadership skills and provides service opportunities. Next in line, we have ARS. Uh, flood and fire cleanup should you ever have a disaster. Not that we're wishing that on you, but they would be good folks to call. We grind our own wheat, natural ingredients. Just coming in or calling us on the phone and we'll make an order. Flow is always a great place to get all your um, DIY stuff for your homes and they're actually, I hope that, oh that almost got us, but they're driving their John Deere's and other kinds of tractors there, the great folks at Lowe's. Yeah, you can get about a little bit of everything at Lowe's it seems like. They do, for sure, including apparently water guns. <laughs> That very nearly got us, didn't it? <laughs> okay, next one. Um, it looks like oh, there, there. It's a group of people that are dressing up as pioneers. It looks like they're just out of my eye range, but we'll tell you better in just a second. Yep, pioneers. It's just putting pioneers back in the Pioneer Day Parade. And in this kind of heat, I'm always actually glad that I wasn't a pioneer because I don't think I could have stood it. Yeah, those leather leather coats, pants yeah. and everything, I don't know how they did it, but thank, thank heavens they did or we wouldn't be where we are exactly today. That's exactly right. And look how cute they look. They're adorable. Oh, they are. They are. <laughs> little, the, the little ones and that is, you know, I think they live forward this more than, the, you know, the, the, the older ones. They yeah. just like to dress up. Well, like this that. is definitely their moment to shine in their wonderfully um, attractive and vibrant pioneer costumes so there we go the they're pulling behind there and that. that's, that's cool uh, and it looks like a handcart brigade right here doesn't it we've got another handcart coming up behind you can only imagine how difficult a trip it was that those bless their hearts those pioneers that did that trip what a what a strong <laughs> a lot of us would have wimped out these days yeah, I mean, you, I don't even, can't even fathom what they went through. No, just no. Now it looks like here, um, it's the Cache Valley Library Association. Yes, Cache Valley Library Association would like to invite you to visit your local library, school, or academic library today. This includes the Cache Rich Bookmobile, bringing the library to you. That's what we got. And there it is now, the, the Bookmobile. That's a very common sight around... Uh, 
around the valley, especially probably outside of Logan, maybe more in the county. I don't know. We always used to uh, see it where we lived and had a lot of patrons. It was a really good idea for the kids to get started reading early. And it was quite the event. I think it was on a Tuesday it would come out and all the little kids in the neighborhood would turn out to go into the library mobile. And they loved it. It's, uh, when you don't have one right in your town, this is the, this is the best way to have, you know. It's, yeah. it's, it's and to make library. an event of it, you know, for the parents to take the kids out and it was an event on a Tuesday to go out. It's just a really yeah. good. We're very blessed to have that in the community, actually. Definitely. Next, here comes uh, Craig's Quality Plumbing. Yeah, if you need a uh, Craig's Quality Plumbing to come and fix your plumbing, their number is 435-563-4748. That's a very snazzy looking truck for a plumbing so establishment too, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> That's a big truck. For it. It, it is. They must carry a lot of good things in there. Yes. Here we go with Airbound Gymnastics. Yeah, Airbound Gymnastics, they offer a variety of classes from 18 months to 18 years in gymnastics, cheerleading, public power tumbling, parkour, and hip-hop. Airbound also, also or offers a back handspring clinic, aerial clinic, and birthday. they also have birthday parties. Yeah, that'd be kind of a fun place, for, certainly, for the little kids to go and, and have a, a party, wouldn't it, for a birthday? Oh, it would. It's, and, I mean, where they have the parties and that, I've, my nieces and that have been in them and everything's padded and protected, so, yeah. you know, it help, helps uh, to prevent any, you know, mishaps from happening. Right, right. And these are little tiny kids, some of them, to get started so young, and then they have, I guess, older ones too, but a really fun place to go. It's 18 months and they're doing gymnastics already. Just I know. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, to be that limber again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a long time ago, yeah, let me just say that well. now. No, <laughs> I'm not sure I could run to the end of the street and back now. Pizza Pie Cafe coming in right after the gymnastic crew. And um, have you ever been there? Yeah, we uh, actually go there about once a week. Uh, they, they're locally owned now and operated. Crispy chicken loaded with pickles. Pickles. You know who totally loved that? Peter. Peter Conrad? No, Piper. From payroll. Pack a pack of papers, please. Pam, prepare the parallel path presentation of Patrick's perusal. Pickle people pick Wendy's new crispy dill chicken. Just a buck forty-nine. It looks like we're closely followed by the restaurants at Blue Square at Utah State. This is a whole new deal, isn't it? Just this last year or two. Yeah, they've, uh, they're right across the street from Maverick Stadium, um, to the west of Maverick Stadium. And they, it's a, there's, they have apartments there that the kids stay at, as well as uh, the, the, the restaurants. They have Subway, um, Bull's Head, and uh, about three or four other ones besides yeah. that that I don't know their names off the top of my head. This one, um, Cache County Community Band. I don't know if we're going to be able to be heard over the top of them, but just a, a really nice little band that we have going in the community. Yeah, they've been playing for over 40 years um, to discover upcoming events or to join the Wind Symphony or jam ba Jazz Band, go to cashcommunityband.org. Yeah, again, if you have any kind of uh, musical inclinement, a really good place to find yourself one evening. Next up, we have the Providence City Royalty from Providence, Utah. Yes, the Providence City Royalty, Miss Providence is Harley Barnes. First attendant is Jacina Hunsaker, and the second attendant is Marina Lopez. And they definitely have their wrist, wrist, elbow, elbow. Yeah, I wonder if they stand in front of the mirror and practice that, actually, because it's always perfect with these young ladies. It takes, it takes a little bit of finesse to get that perfect, you know. Uh, yeah, I wish the camera was on you, actually, right now. That was quite a good sight, watching you practice there. <laughs> Next, we have the Alpine Cleaning and Restoration Specialist. And it looks like they're actually in an old fire truck, doesn't it? Yes. Um, these old fire trucks kind of bring meaning to me, but uh, the, they specialize in fire, water, mold, storage damage, restoration. Also, they specialize in carpet cleaning. 
and a really beautifully restored truck. Coming up closely behind them, we have Convergis. Uh, Convergis, uh, quite a popular local business, hires lots of our youth, as I understand it. They do. A lot of the college kids, uh, the youth, uh, they offer opportunities to build computer and business sales skills. And they are now hiring. So there you go. If you need a job, give them a call. Next in line, coming along the street, says truck number 38, it's the Bitter Water Dancers, and it looks to me, they're Native American dancers from the Navajo tribe. Yes, uh, they've been dancing together as a family for 30 years. They enjoy sharing their Native American culture. Some of their dances are just unbelievable. Um, they've been doing these for centuries, and everything from uh, medicine dances to uh, water, you know, rain dances. It's it's amazing the, the stuff they do. It's just fascinating how they all know what to do, when to do it. And yeah, and look at those gorgeous costumes, presumably all handmade, and uh, the talent and the dedication that they have to this uh, art within their culture is a wonderful thing these days to see. Yes, it is. We don't see it enough, actually. I think you know, That's true, but to be proud of your heritage is a wonderful thing. Martinez, Martinez Auto, this car is going up and down or I am having a stroke. Well, <laughs> it is it's, going uh, up and down. You definitely got the hydraulics uh, going up. Uh, Martinez Auto there. Repair. Quite yeah, 435-881-5432. I guess if you need any kind of auto repair done, they would be the guys to contact. They're located at 51 and a half South, 100 West in Logan. Here we come now to... Um, well, this is... It looks like Elevate Pest Control. And I'm not sure that we have any information about this one except I know they're very popular. A lot of people in my neighborhood use these guys because apparently we have a lot of pests and that does not include myself. I wish you to know at this time. But pest control from Elevate 735-753-3825 or Elevate Pest Control. Have them come and get rid of all those nasty spiders. What impressed me the most about Dr. Hurst was the fact that he sat down and he listened. It's always been our policy here that service and quality is what we've always focused on. We uh, would be glad to work on anybody. Come in, we'd mention this uh, ad, we would do an exam for free. Right below the LDS Temple, it's uh, 150 East 200 North, uh, phone number 752-4533. It looks like we've got the Utah Army National Guard, and how wonderful do they look? Oh, there it's. I have all the respect for these guys. Uh, you know, they're putting their lives on our, you know, the honor to protect our land. And this time, the way that things are anywhere around the world, you never know when they're going to be deployed. So. They are located in the National Guard Readiness Center on 500 West between the fairgrounds and Willow Park. And either I'm getting old or they looked like a lot of young men right there. And I am getting old and they were young, so there we go. A lot of young men giving up their time, and young women of course too, giving up their precious time to protect our community. Next it looks like we've got Chick-fil-A. That is a fabulous, huge thing on the top of that truck. That is a holy cow. <laughs> the Chick-fil-A uh, cows are at it again. Always look for ways to serve the community. Go visit them Monday through Saturday. Yeah, really good. Um, they have actually at the moment, I, I will disclose to you a rather delicious peach shake. Oh. Not that I ever I stop and get peaches. one, but my goodness, they're good. <laughs> they done. Yeah, they, um, well, that's that one there. That is, and really on a hot afternoon in the summer, there's very few things better than one of those peach shakes. I've, uh, I've actually been there multiple times during the week. <laughs> Really so you're admitting it and I'm not. Oh, I'll break down on that one, yes. <laughs> Next.
next we have Napa Auto Parts. Been around for years, haven't they, in the Valley, different stores, just a really good auto part shop, helpful people. Yeah, they're, uh, they, they, have a, they have stores in Providence as well as North Logan. If you need any parts, go to Nampa Auto Parts. And here's another Loman, Logan extermination. Indoor, outdoor, pest control, tree pruning, spraying, weed control, and lawn fertilizing. You can reach them at 435-752-8450. Uh, Together with a little band on the back. Oh, it says Aggie Radio. Not, that must be a local band, and they were really quite good. Yes, they are. I've, uh, I know that the Aggie Radio, their, their station up at Utah State University, it's 92.3, excuse me, on the FM dial. And here's a, this is a new uh, real estate group, and I saw their building out there the other day in Logan, just a gorgeous new building, Real Estate by Dwell Realty Group. Yeah, Ted Chafin and Dwell Realty Group has been helping home buyers and sellers achieve their dream of their home since 2008. Call. 435-764-4439. And next in line we have um, Casper's Ice Cream. Fat Boys, very popular. Utah's own Casper's Ice Cream. Can't, Fat Boys says it all. That or the, the Cascos themselves. Just, I mean, you say that and everybody knows it's Casper's. Yeah. And I think there was a bit of a, a stampede to get one of those Fat Boys right there. I was hoping one of them got I know. <laughs> the, ki the kids are like, yeah, the candy's okay, but get in my way of me and the ice cream and I will knock you down. <laughs> and here we have the Logan City and Environmental Department, hugely important to all of us. What a great group of guys. Definitely. They, um, they handle all the garbage, recycling, and green, west collect green waste collection excuse me, in Cache County. Do your part, keep Cache County clean, and recycle. Yep, and they've, that looks actually like, they've either cleaned that truck up or it's just a brand new one. Either way, it's a beautiful truck and what a good idea that recycling program was. Was it you guys that thought about doing that in your department or? No, I wish we could take the, the, <laughs> the credit, credit for that. Uh. But yeah, it was just a brilliant idea. I was absolutely amazed when we got our bins, how much got, you know, uh, recycling we actually had. And we'd just been throwing away. So a brilliant program. Uh, next up. Bear River Head Start. These three programs is, exist under Bear River Head Start and they all, they're all free. We have Preschool Head Start, which serves uh, children from three to five. Becoming established doesn't happen overnight. It isn't awarded by one single act. Being established comes from a lifetime of holding on to what is most important, even when it is most difficult. Being established doesn't mean doing what's always been done. It means doing what's right. Lewiston State Bank, established in 1905, established for your future. Mitchell Beauty School. I went there and they told me my my hairless head would not be able to <laughs> help. But anyway, they are located. Could have found you a wig. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> they are located right behind, or actually right next to the Beehive Grill. If you're interested in a career in the beauty industry, call 435-752-3599, and financial aid is available for those who qualify. Yeah, Paul Mitchell, a big uh, a big name in the beauty world. Probably a really good school to go to if you would like to be a a beautician of some description. Next, uh, coming up, we have Common Ground. This is just a fantastic organization, isn't it? Oh, they, what, that, what they give to, you know, the, the kids that, well, actually adults even, yeah. that uh, can, cannot go, just go out and do like me and you. Um, they have activities for them from uh, biking, they take them up the canyon, they take them skiing. Right. The yeah, people with um, disabilities on the whole have, have benefited very greatly from this being in our community. Next up, there's a, a group of long-legged girls in shorts, <laughs> and I'm assuming well, that the they guy. would I, be... I and a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think that's yeah. 
Well, anyway, whoever they are, USU Athletics, they look fantastic. Really, what a credit to USU they are. Oh, it's amazing the last last few years of, uh, yeah, I mean, football's went up, but since we went in the Mountain West, all of our athletic programs have gone up. Yeah. Um, they, they represent basically every athletic sport we they have up at Utah State. Yeah. And, Go Aggies. Yep, definitely go Aggies. Good season for them coming up, we hope. And mm, still they come. Yep, here's some more of them. I think they're dispensing posters. Will that be some lucky children that get a poster from them? Sign Next. So, still USU. This is a huge, and I want to tell you, humongous <laughs> truck. Utah State football. That's been right spiffied up too for the parade, I'm assuming. This is what they this is the truck that they haul the equipment to all the any game that's in the United States. Oh wow. There's Chucky right there that's walking with him, handing out posters. All the kids, he's a he's a fan favorite. Um, but this 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 trailer hauls all their equipment, all the helmets, bags, uh, uniforms to any game that's in the within the United States. Wow. So it has to be big and it has to be beautiful because it's representing the university. It is. It's gorgeous. Yes, it is. Next up, um, Edge Rock and Moto Clothing. They are a new store out um, next to. Um, oh it's left you. Yes. It's somewhere in Logan. Pet store. <laughs> the, Pet store oh, Petsmart. Petsmart. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Um, they they have the skateboarders type clothing. The skateboarders like they the motorcycle gear. Okay. Um, they have a couple of really nice looking road bikes in there. I'd like to have oh. one of them. They'd let me take it, but I don't think they will. <laughs> well, for a small fee, which would probably be a lot of fee, but there you go. Yeah, big truck, lots of cool things for the kids out there at that store. I'm sure about that. And the kids, of course, still lots and lots of children here today looking around. Des I think the ice cream's gone. That's kind of sad. Ice cream's gone, but I... There's probably thing. still a bit more candy oh, coming yeah. their way. Yeah, I think if they hang out long enough, they'll get some more. <laughs> Send them home on a sugar high, that's <laughs> what I always say. Let them run around in the afternoon. That's right. <laughs> People will be heading to the parks to get rid of some uh, excess energy of their offspring. And there's some more. Okay, coming up now, uh, Fun Unlimited at the Fun Zone. They buy, buy and sell used games, movies, and music as, as well as books. Free play arcade as well as bounce houses. Unlimited fun for all ages. Fun Unlimited located in the Cache Valley Mall. Yeah, and they've been there for some time too, as I recall. Yes, they and they're throwing out candy too. It looks like we have adults getting candy. <laughs> Here we go. C Cinderella International Scholarship Pageant. Yeah, the Cinderella Scholarship Pageant is a pageant for girls ages 3 to 26. Cinderella promotes a girl's inner beauty, strength, and character, talent, and ability to communicate efficiently. Our slogan is honest service at a fair price. I used uh, Mike at Auto Evolutions. I'm really uh, pleased with his efforts and the work that he does. We're at 347 West Airport Road. We do everything but tires and body work. Gladiator Jim, Gladiator Day at the... AGA Gymnastics Academy. Okay. They offer quality classes for boys and girls of all ages in gymnastics, tumbling, and karate. If you'd like to get more information, more information, go to agautah.com. And they're claiming to be gym ninjas, and yeah, I'll go along with that. They <laughs> just more those. Than I'll ever do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, join that club. <laughs> okay, coming up next, we have. Griffoles Biomat, Biomat, Biomat. Yes. Yeah, Griffoles is the local uh, plasma donor. Oh, right. Um, make up to $265 a month just by donating once or twice a, a week. Uh, Actually, I do believe that that is how half the students <laughs> at USU make a living is they donate plasma. And why not? You know, they're getting paid for something that they have and other people need. So really, what's wrong with that? I mean, plasma, I mean, blood donors, is we need that too. Yeah. It's excellent. Yeah. But they use, plasma is used for other things that blood can't be used for. So right. it, go, it goes hand in hand. 
Next it looks like um, Sierra Restoration. Yeah, full service restoration company focusing on flood, fire, wind, and mold cleanup. Their team comes with a long history of construction, allowing them to renovate and restore any project that comes their way. Their number is 435-563-4007. And next up would be the Hyde Park Royalty, pulled by a rather spiffy looking truck, is it not? It's Heritage Auto of Logan is the truck that's pulling it, Chrysler Dodge and Jeep and Ram. Um, the Hyde Park City Royalty, their queen is Carrie Phillips. Her attendants are Sarah Nye, Angela Kohler, Kinsey Randall, and Mariah Holling. And another beautiful float. Oh, very beautiful. I noticed that the um, the royalty is always, from whichever town it is, they always have just the most gorgeous floats. And it, it makes us aware of all these probably parents and volunteers spending just weeks getting these floats ready for this uh, parade season. Definitely. There's a lot of time and effort goes into those, uh, putting everything just perfect. So they stand out and say, well, look, at look at me, yeah. yeah. Next of all, we have the Cash Valley Media Group. Yes, that's uh, KVNU, 610 AM and 102 FM. That is the home of the Aggies. Hugely important to keeping Cash Valley aware of different things going on. Next, um, looks like in a ballroom. Uh, Enlight Ballroom celebrates the dancing heritage of Cache Valley. Enlight Ballroom teaches competitive and social ballroom dancing in Logan and it looks like that would be a fun place to go because they are having a blast right now. Yes they are. Looks like all ages. Yeah. They got, I have two left feet so I, I wouldn't be doing too well. I'd have everybody laid out on the road. Yeah that would probably not be good. You're right. <laughs> Next up we have Lee's Marketplace, what a great addition Lee's Marketplace was to the Valley. Lee's does so much um, Valley-wide, like you said. Locally owned grocery store that pledges to support their local communities. Lee's has the fre freshest meat, produce, and bakery in town. Lee's Services expands gluten-free section in both grocery frozen foods. Check out Lee's Marketplace on Facebook for additional promotions, deals, and community events. And that is huge actually to find somewhere that does gluten-free. I know a lot of people have problems with gluten these days and not every store carries that kind of availability so well done them. <laughs> And they're causing a huge stir, aren't they? They're throwing out candy and frisbees like they were going out of style tomorrow. I'm all stuffed up. I feel icky. At Mountain Star Healthcare, our emergency rooms are open 24 hours, seven days a week to take care of children of all ages. Plus short wait times to get you back to being a grown-up. Hey doc, stitch me up quick. I gotta get back to my soccer game. Mountain Star Healthcare. What makes us better makes you better. Can you call my mom? <laughs> Nibley City Royalty, they're being pulled by Auto Care Collision Repair Truck, a really nice truck again, and the girls are just coming into view. And again, really, just the creative ideas that people come up with for, for these floats it really never ceases to amaze, does it? Uh, it's, you know, so, some of the floats that they come in on, some are more modern, some are more of the way floats, you know, you've always seen them as. Yeah. The, the Nibley City, City Royalty. They compete in a scholarship pageant spotted, sponsored by Nibley City. Miss Nibley is Elizabeth Sweeten. Junior Miss Nibley is Lindsay Rigby, and Nibley's sweetheart is Kelly Ripplinger. Yeah. Yeah, and don't they all look sweet? And look, they even have crystal chandeliers. And the little uh, uh, the oriental type yeah, the, umbrellas. Yeah. Quite what a good idea to oh, yeah. keep them shaded. Now here comes another massive truck. These guys, I don't know how they do this. This is high point trampoline and tumbling. Oh, wow. 
Oh, these are the people that we're going to see airbound any yeah. minute right now. As they're going down the road, and I don't know how they do this, because like it would scare me half to death, but Utah, they're Utah's tumbling specialists. They're located in the Sports Academy. Yeah, High Point Gymnastics, 435-753-7500, extension 120. Tumbling and Sports Academy at a Sports Academy. Com. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. Got them doing that and got kids doing tumbling on the back here. <laughs> it actually makes me feel a bit queasy, but that's because I'm old. <laughs> no, I just, I don't know how they stay on the truck, personally. I'm, they have I'm a lot better old. balance than we do, right? Definitely. <laughs> Again, all ages. It looks like we've got the older ones at the front throwing themselves with abandon into the air on the very, very top. And then we've got some little tiny ones at the back here who are maybe just starting out and tumbling. And uh, what a fun place to go. Sports Academy has so much stuff out there for really you know to, to everything from exercising to yeah. for these kids to, and the high point gymnastics. Yeah. Next come the Cache County Democrats. Yeah, it says stay stay with them for good government for everybody. This is a pretty big election year, I think, so it's it's gonna be we're early in it, so it's might get interesting come towards uh, October-ish yeah. time frame, I guess, November. Yeah. So different that on the float they have Hispanic Democratic Caucus and an LDS Democratic Caucus. So I guess if you want to become involved with the Democratic Party, this would be a, a good place for you to start. Cash.utdem.org. Cash Democrats. And they're on Facebook too. Oh. As is everybody, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next, Auto Care Collision Repair. And the Clash MMA, the Mixed Martial Arts. Um, they have Auto Care Collision for 24-hour towing and all of your collision. We are the Clash MMA. Live like them on Facebook. Right here. Join the Cash Valley Clash on Facebook for all upcoming events. I have a friend that fights in this, and I just tell him go right ahead because... <laughs> Clash MMA, huh? Yes, it's uh, like I say, mixed martial arts. They do them now at the Ellen Eccles uh, Ice Arena. Oh, right. They bring in a floor and put a bigger cage in there, and they all kick each How other. So <laughs> sounds like the school ground to me. But there you go. <laughs> Lots of people kicking each other. Here we go, like next. <laughs> yeah, actually. Here we go. The Miss Wellsville Scholarship Pageant finalists. They're th so thrilled to have. A great turnout this year and very proud of the beautiful, bright young ladies. And I actually went to this when they were being judged and um, it was just a lovely evening's entertainment out there in Wellsville and uh, we're very proud of the girls. They are gate, you know, Wellsville is the gateway into Cash Valley. <laughs> Hi, Cash Valley. This is Fernando over the factory at Pizzeria. We're running a special right now. We're giving a free nachos when you buy a large pizza with three toppings. Just mention this up and you're going to get a free nachos every time you come. The factory at Pizzeria is located in 119 South Main, below the GS in the basement. Come see as soon as you can. Thank you. Community Health Centers. He was giving us just a little musical toot on the old horn and he's doing it again. If I get a piece of candy, I'll throw it back at him. Um, yeah, Bear Lake Community Health Centers has five convenient locations in Hiram, Logan, Bear Lake, and Evanston, offering medical, dental, behavioral health, and pharmacies all in one building in each one of the locations. They're dedicated to your family's health. And they really are. It's great to have those uh, facilities here and over in Bear Lake. Yes, it is. And uh, Logan City Fire Department. Uh, the, you know when the parade's about ready to end, when the fire, when Logan City's Fire Department comes up and they've got their, uh, their brush truck as well as a ladder truck. And the firemen, you know, what these guys have to wear when they go into oh. 
fires, the, the uh, I mean, they're packing 70 pounds of uh, turnouts, yeah. and then they put another 40, 50 pounds of uh, an SCBA on their back. Absolutely. And they're running into buildings as people are running out, you know, and people uh, ask them why, because they're, they're there to help people. Yeah. So. Police department, fire department, the medical professionals, just the cream of our society. And, and I feel that here in Cache Valley, we're so lucky to, to have the absolute very, very top of the field professionals. Yes, they, we're, we're honored. Um, we're very lucky too because Logan teams up with some of the county's uh, departments. So if there is a structure fire, we're getting three or four departments in instead of just one, so we can they can go in and knock it down quicker and yeah. hopefully save you know save the structure. Yeah, yeah, like you say, putting their lives on the line virtually every day. Um, all these uh, professionals that we're so lucky to have. That may well have been. Oh, now here come the police. Maybe closing off the end of the parade, is I, that what we're thinking? I think they are. They're just bringing up the... Bringing up the rear. Making sure the kids don't run after the fire trucks. Last but very much not least, our very special Logan City Police Department. They do like their sirens. They do. Actually, that, I suspect that's why some of them become policemen, because they can run those sirens. <laughs> So there we go, the end of the parade, and uh, thanks everybody for turning out this year. Thank you, Kim, and hopefully we'll see everybody again next year. Howdy, I'm Al Wolford, uh, owner of Wolford V Twin Performance here in Providence, Utah. I already started over 100 years ago in 1903, and uh, boy, they've come a long ways. Uh, the uh, older bikes are collectors now. Uh, back in the 70s, uh, early 70s, there was the Easy Rider. That was quite a, a, a movie they came out with that uh, really, really spurred uh, interest in Harley Davidsons. Uh, there's a lot of culture in the motorcycle world. Uh, there's a lot of uh, artwork in the motorcycle world from the way people design their bikes to the paint uh, that they choose to buy or put custom on their motorcycles. Uh, Harley Davidson's have uh, just always attracted people's interest. Uh, there's a just a particular group of people that love Harley Davidson motorcycles and it is a combination between uh, leather, uh, paint, chrome, uh, black. People like to black out their motorcycles uh, and, and like to put their personalities in Harley Davidson's. Uh, and it's fun to talk to people about their bikes and what they did and why they did uh, to come up with their particular look. Because people have personalities. Motorcycles have personalities also. And generally, the personality of the owner is going to reflect in the personality of the motorcycle. When you see a group or an individual of Harley Davidson's riders, uh, they love to talk about their bikes. They're very proud of their bikes. And they'll tell you probably more than you want to know about their Harley Davidson motorcycles. You know, in the Harley Davidson world, uh, there's uh, uh, quite a camaraderie. I mean, if you have a problem off the side of the road and you're on your bike, uh, boy, I'll guarantee you when another group drives by, uh, they're over, they're going to help you out. And uh, it's kind of fun. Uh, uh, to listen to different people as they come in and talk about the trips they're going to take, whether it be to Canada, whether it be to uh, Florida. Uh, people travel a long ways on their motorcycles. You know, it is true that uh, Harley Davidson's make your facial hair grow faster because the wind pulls back on your beard and makes it, pulls it out of your face and it grows faster. Uh, there is a look about the Harley Davidson guys. Uh, it's the leather thing. Are the leathers really worn? Are they brand new and pristine? Are they freshly pressed? Is everything perfect? Or is it, or do your leathers have bugs all over them? Uh, do you have, do you ride a lot? Do you, are your leathers worn? Are you proud? Of those leathers that are worn. Uh, 
Hey, just a little plug for Wolford V-Twin. Uh, we do everything on Harley-Davidson motorcycles. Uh, performance work we're really into. Uh, maintenance, uh, troubleshooting, services, tires. If it's bumper to bumper on your motorcycle, uh, your Harley-Davidson motorcycle, we'll get it done and we'll do you an outstanding job and make you happy. Give us a call. Right now when you join Planet Fitness, you get your first month free, then pay just $10 a month. You'll get to work out in a clean, comfortable, judgment-free environment and always enjoy unlimited fitness training with your membership, all for just $10 a month. Join now in club or online at planetfitness.com and get your first month free. Planet Fitness, the judgment-free zone. It's easy to buy insurance and forget about it. But the more you learn about your coverage, the more gaps you might find. Like how you thought you were covered for this. Check it out, Mom. When you're really only covered for this. Or how you figured you're covered for this when you're actually paying for this. Danger. You might be surprised at what's hiding in your coverage. Talk to farmers and get smarter about your insurance. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. As Professor Burke said, it's easy to buy cheap insurance, but it might not be the right insurance for you. You might not be covered for what you think you are. We here at LSS Insurance want to help you get smarter about your insurance. We want to help you understand and become knowledgeable about what you're paying for. Don't leave gaps in your insurance policy. Give us a call at 752-9493. It will be well worth your time. Don't leave gaps in your insurance policy. Give us a call at 752-9493 for a free Farmers Fund Review. It'll be well worth your time. Give us a call again at 752-9493. You'll be glad you did. We know that we're supposed to come in and get our teeth cleaned twice a year by a dental hygienist such as yourself. But why? If we're brushing at home twice a day and you know we're flossing and doing all the good stuff that we're supposed to, why do we need to come and see you? Well, I think a lot of times people don't realize that even if they're brushing twice a day, taking care of their teeth, there's still going to be areas that you're you're gonna miss. Sometimes we are in a rush and we'll miss areas or even just genetically people will build up plaque faster than others. So we recommend coming in at least every six months to get a cleaning and have all of your teeth checked out. There's other factors that can um, cause staining like smoking, drinking coffee, drinking tea that need to be cleaned off as well. And then also it's good to come and check for any cavities, decay. Uh, some people are higher prone to decay. And Through genetics. Genetics or even diet, lots of sugar, soda, things like that that are harmful to the teeth. But what if you get people in that haven't been into the dentist for a long time? Yeah, we do all types of cleanings. We have a laser. We can do a laser treatment and laser cleanings for those that might have periodontal disease where there's some bone loss they have build up underneath the gums um, and then we can get you numb for those procedures so you're completely comfortable um, we do all all sorts of restorative work we do anything dr hurst does every, anything and everything so he does and he has a really well staffed office like yourself and also the latest in technology i, I think we can't stress that really enough that Dr. Hurst is always going back to school, learning new techniques. He really does stay on top of things, doesn't he? And then in turn, I guess you guys as his staff do also. Yes, we all take continuing education courses um, and we're required to have a certain number of hours for years. So we always go to the dental conventions and stay caught up with all the current technology and anything new that's coming out. Okay. And the rest of the summer we are offering a special for um, a free exam for any new patients that come in and just make sure to mention that you heard about it and tell us and we'll give you a free exam for the rest of the summer. Oh, that's, that, that's 
itself a, a really huge deal, isn't it, to come in and have a just a completely free dental exam? Yeah. Tell everybody where we are. We're at 150 East, um, 200 North in Logan, Utah, and it's Suite B1. The name of the office is as New Smile Dental. New Smile Dental. So thank you and good luck. Thank you.